Type 1 team, Alexander here, and I am so excited to come back and talk to you guys about my stem cell journey. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about where I got my stem cells. I'm gonna talk about what type of stem cells that I got. I'm gonna talk about the effects that the stem cells had on my body, and it's been a month and a half now. So, I have a lot to talk about, and I hope you enjoy. Life is good, hey. everything good. Alexander Joey, Joey loves that shit. Hey. It's all real Alexander J, the next up and coming superstar. Look at this stuff, man. Welcome to Type 1 Production. Um, I'm Alexander, and I have been suffering for the last three years after being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and Crohn's disease. These two ailments work against one another, and I was doing everything in my power to figure out how to cure myself. Whether it be through diet, exercise, um, meditation, spiritual journeys. I mean, I'm telling you, I went through the gamut to try and figure out a way to cure my body. Eventually, I came across stem cells. In the United States, you cannot get unregulated stem cells. And I know that sounds scary, but the fact of the matter is, our government puts restrictions on the stem cells that you're getting, so the patients don't get the full effect of stem cells. The stem cells in the States are more expensive, less effective, and sometimes there's a long waiting list to even get stem cells. So that left me with no choice but to start shopping elsewhere. I know that you can get stem cells in Turkey and Panama and a bunch of different places, but Mexico is what we landed on uh, based on price, based on the doctor's reviews, um, and a lot of research. I went down to Mexico to Tijuana. I got my stem cells. It ended up costing me about $10,000 in total. The stem cell therapy itself cost about $7,500. Flying down there, room and board, food, everything all combined cost about $10,000 when it was all said and done. So initially when I got the stem cells to help me with my diabetes and Crohn's, it was interesting because we go into this medical facility, which is state of the art, it's really nice. and. The doctor greets me, he sits me down, and he gives me an IV. The IV is, um, I believe, just some saline, just to you know flush out the lines and whatever. And then he just brings in this drip, uh, another bag, and that was the stem cells. You know, for all I, I could have known, it could have been water, it could have been you know, vitamins, whatever. I didn't know, so I was skeptical, to be honest. An hour after I got the stem cell treatment, my energy levels were through the roof. By the doctor's orders, I had to stay in bed for two days. Only getting up to use the bathroom, I had to have somebody, so if you do get stem cells, you have to have somebody accompany you because you need somebody to take care of you. Uh, luckily, my mom was there and she brought me food and I had to stay bedridden for two days. And those two days were really difficult because I had this newfound energy that I had lost the prior three years in being sick and struggling with my Crohn's and struggling with my diabetes. And I felt like I just got the best night's rest ever. My body felt good, my mind was sharp. I felt like I just took a limitless pill. Before getting stem cells, the doctor told me that it can take up to six months to feel the effects. So when I got my drip, I immediately felt this boost of energy, this explosion of mental and physical strength. I wanted to do things. It wasn't a chore for me to get out of bed anymore. That to me was so exciting. I didn't know that that uh, could happen. Per the doctor's advice, I wanted to give the stem cells time to introduce themselves to my body, to alleviate some of the issues that I was having or in hopes 
that it did alleviate some of the issues that I was having. So that's why this video came so late. So I apologize to those who are commenting, asking how things are going. I appreciate all of you so much. I wanted to give you an in-depth review. Fast forward a few months, here we are today. From being disabled to now, I'm in North Dakota working in the oil fields, which is something that I absolutely 100% could not have done if it wasn't for stem cells. My energy levels feel better than I had felt prior to getting the treatment. I feel like I have a new lease on life and I could not be more grateful. I will tell you, even after getting the stem cells, I'm still a type one diabetic. I still have my insulin pump. I still have Crohn's. These things aren't alleviated, but what has been rejuvenated is my energy. And since my energy has been rejuvenated, I've been able to cater to my body better. I've been able to go to the gym. I've been able to get out to North Dakota to work in the oil fields, which is, this is the most physically demanding job I've ever had in my entire life. I just finished my first week and a half and I put in 105 hours in my first week of physical hard labor. I'm a wireline operator and if you know anything about the oil field, we're out there busting our ass from turning pipe wrenches to lifting heavy stuff to running around all day long, you know, 13 to 16 hours a day, seven days a week. And I have to say that there's no possible way I could have achieved where I'm at now without getting stem cell therapy. And this is all just the way my body adapted to the stem cells. The stem cells that I got were from a young donor's gums, which I didn't know until after the fact. Would I recommend stem cell therapy? Absolutely. If you're stuck in the rat race of trying to figure out the proper things to eat, the proper exercises to do, and you've been doing this for so long and you can't find answers, I would say save up, go try stem cell therapy, get it from another country where it's not so regulated that you can't get the potency that you need. I would give it my seal of approval. So lastly, I wanna leave this channel up to you guys. I'm in North Dakota, as I said. I'm working the oil fields. This place is beautiful during the summertime. I'm telling you, it's 70, you know, so freaking flat you can watch your dog run away for two weeks, but that's besides the point. The storms here are incredible. I just started the carnivore diet two weeks ago. I'm working out like crazy. So I'll go, I'll go to work for 15 hours. I'll get home, shower go to the gym for an hour, two hours, come home, cook dinner, sleep, repeat. I mean, if you guys are interested in seeing my life, let me know what you'd like to see. Would you like to see what North Dakota is like, what working the oil fields is like? If you wanna see the supplements that I'm taking currently on the carnivore diet, uh, just leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys would like to see. I'd like for you, Type 1 team, to depict where this channel goes you know, I, I just love making these things for people and I love spreading information. I want to be able to help as many people as I can make the best choices that they can in their life, whether it be physically, financially, emotionally. Um, I've been through a lot in my life and I feel like I have wisdom to share. Yeah, that's it. Get stem cells. <laughs> go get stem cells. Go. Go get them. Try it out. You got nothing to lose. Uh, it may be expensive, but your health is worth every penny. It's priceless. Anyhow, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below, whether it be music, car videos, lifestyle stuff. I don't care. Give me some inspiration. That's it from me. I love you guys. Deuces.